Hello and welcome to Tinkerdet channel. So in this quick video I will show you how to update your PyHole which is running in Docker on your Linux server. Because, well, who needs Raspberry Pis for this anyway? So let's assume that you had your PyHole running in Docker for months now, or maybe a year like me, but at some point you decide to upgrade. So you see there's a new version, even PyHole itself reminds you. So you go to the website or to GitHub and you will see this link. How do I update PyHole? Um, um, well, it's a question with some answers, but um, this doesn't really look like a tutorial. And it's old. I mean, yeah, check out the dates. Okay, so what now? How will you be able to update your PyHole? Well, to be honest, it's easy with Docker. So let me show you. Okay, so assuming that uh, you have PyHole running up with uh, Docker Compose, based on maybe my previous video on this topic, you can just continue from there. So just a quick recap. This is our Docker Compose configuration and um, this is my server and you can see a lot of stuff running here but most importantly I have Pyho there. So that is based on the official uh, Docker image. So first of all you need to stop Pyho. If it is configured properly then it should not cause a problem like an outage for your internet access or something like that. Okay, now at this point we have stopped the uh, pyhole and uh, we still have the container, still have everything, it's just not running and it's time to upgrade. So with Docker's terminology we say we are pulling the newer version. So as the image that we used so far and uh, we just do this to pull the newer version of the image. However, before we do that, we need to think about one thing. Backing up our configuration. Because, yeah, for me, one year has passed and um, who knows what changed. I was lazy enough to not read the whole change log. So let's just assume things can go wrong. So you might remember from volumes, those are our uh, linked resources the PyHole directory where all the stuff written by PyHole and uh, those configuration file and the add block list file. So we try to back those up. But most importantly, the, the, the working directory of PyHole. So let's just make some directory where we copy all the stuff and uh, because Docker volumes are only accessible to you, uh, admin user we need to change via sudo so we have changed the root and now let's locate our volume directory where um, all the stuff is located that is written by pinehole so it's the usual location unless you have some really funky docker uh, installation and as you can see, I have all my volumes here and one of them is named docker underscore pyhole. And this folder or directory holds all the data, all the temporary files with them written by pyhole. So I will just need to back up the contents of these. By the way, don't even ask why some of those files are owned by NetData. NetData is a totally different user and uh, a different software I'm running on this server. So I'm not sure, but let's just ignore it and let's just pretend that it's all owned by root because it's totally unrelated to the contents of this video. Okay, so let's copy this folder to some backup location. To exit the contents of that folder, you either need to be root or act as root. So there we go.
and it's not working. Okay, let's try the other way around. It's just a mistake of mine. Ignore it, please. <laughs> And there we go, fixed. Now we can resume updating our PyHole Docker image. So, how was that command again? Now that it's finished, let's start the container once again and then just let's go to a browser and see if it's working and if it has been updated. And of course it's working. It already started counting queries and whatnot. So everything looks normal. That's fine. But um, as you can see on the bottom of the screen, it still mentions upgrade or update available and whatnot. So why is that? We have just updated to the latest version. Well, let's check out Docker Hub. So the previous screen said version 4.2.1, that's what we have. And um, Docker Hub shows 4.2.2. Um, what's going on? Let's check out some other sources, like the main page. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most disappointing part of this video because I won't be able to tell you a correct answer to this. I mean, yeah, it's Docker container and it's very to software to software, this whole versioning thing, I mean. They can probably have a separate version number for the container or the container is just lagging behind the actual uh, PyHole version number. So let's say for a direct installation version 4.3.2 is available where the containerized version is only 4.2.2. I don't know, to be honest. But uh, from our point of view and from this video's point of view, doesn't really matter. Basically, you want to have the latest available Docker image at hand and we have accomplished that. So we are basically done here. If you want to have a cutting edge version, you can just start digging uh, GitHub, maybe some forums and whatnot. And by cutting edge, I mean probably unstable development version or whatnot. So once again, if you're running Docker, then your best bet is just use the latest image. And yeah, one thing we almost forget. Let's get rid of those backup files. They just eat up space and don't have a purpose anymore. And with this, I'm closing this video. Thanks for watching it, and I hope I helped you with something at least. And I hope to see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit like. If you want to help my channel and see more of my content, hit subscribe. If you want to check out behind the scenes and want to know more about me, then follow me on social media. You can find the links here. Thank you again, and see you next time.